change starts together. Change starts together. Progress Together are really supportive of the Lord Mayor's Appeal and uh, the Power of Inclusion series. So we're really there to drive the agenda forward together. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to actually the second uh, of our Power of Inclusion uh, breakfast uh, series. This conversation has never been greater or more important because of the cost of living crisis. I'm really here to kind of understand from those in the industry, uh, both kind of developed companies, but also from those just starting out in social mobility, what, what they're really doing to kind of drive the agenda forward and, and best practice. Uh, so we can all learn from one another and, and tackle it together. The Lord Mayor's Appeal is multifaceted, it's multi-year uh, and it's extraordinary in what it delivers. And we at Janice Henderson are proud to be involved in several ways, including in Power of Inclusion. Our firm and our industry though is still not diverse enough, uh, especially in the more senior roles. I think we're making progress but we've got more, much more work to do uh, and I hope today's workshop helps us take another de step forward. There is a lot that the Lord Mayor's Appeal does that relates to social mobility and giving young people a chance. We also run these Power of Inclusion events, workshops, striving to break down barriers to inclusion by empowering organizations to create inclusive workplace cultures. So we hope that you leave today's session inspired and encouraged to support such change in your organizations too. The thing that I really enjoy about these workshops is just hearing everybody's opinions, hearing everyone's views and best practices. I think listening to the stories of the evolution of other people's employee networks and the things that they're doing to help accessibility and retention of talent was really key and how influential a, a network can be for, for an organization. Your background doesn't have to determine your future. It took me six years to meet someone else in the industry with a background like mine. And since then, I've gone from having imposter syndrome every single day and thinking of leaving the industry completely to now speaking to you all today. Former free school meal kids make up 15% of the current workforce. And as of January, they make up 23.8% of kids currently in school. So with a bit of support, we're not a problem. We could be the solution to the industry's recruitment issues. To be able to connect uh, people across the organisation, our clients, customers and communities um, around the topic of social mobility is extremely important um, and I think from there we can actually make real change happen. We can create safe spaces, share stories um, and actually uh, come up with an action plan of how to tackle important issues and create real kind of systemic change. I think you can't really overestimate how impactful it is for junior people in a firm like Freshfields and, and in all of your organisations to have visible role models who are actively helping to pave the way to a more diverse leadership. At around the end of 2019, I started to reach out to people in the firm who I knew were involved in various social mobility initiatives, really just to understand what we were already doing in this space. After a lot of discussions, um, in June 2020, I took it upon myself to establish a social mobility network at Freshfields. The momentum that it generated and the support from people around our firm was absolutely overwhelming. My main takeaway from today's workshop was the importance of having staff networks in the first place, employee resource groups, but also the fact that there needs to be senior level accountability. So at Progress Together, many of our members um, have a senior Exco sponsor alongside their DNI lead, etc., to ensure that change fundamentally happens. And the other takeaway I got was the importance of not just collecting the data and measuring the data but then tracking it so you link access to progression um, to really understand the interventions that work. Change starts together. Change starts together.